Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack. And it was destroying him as well. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about. Even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. Hmm. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films. But I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. <laughs> I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. I wonder if she ever Beautiful. watched The Mist. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. No, honestly, there is a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't hey, see. Hey, I like the color grey, okay? You must love my apartment then. <laughs> it's like ugly took a vacation here <laughs> and never went home again. Oh, Susan, you make me laugh. How did he die? How did Jack die? so distant in the last few weeks before before he died what I didn't know was that he kept looking for something I don't think he even knew what exactly but it eventually found him or rather he found him <gasps> that guy did kill him there are those forums online you know about all sorts of stuff Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions, everything really. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. I want to find the one about horses. There's a guy there. Calls himself the Eye of Adam. Eye of Adam? He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and and how they cope with their lives. Okay. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. Ad His job is to plant an idea, to give them a reason to die and tell them oh how to do it. Oh my god. Once and for good. Wow, this guy. Jack took the bait. Before he knew, he was completely brainwashed. One How day he sat down do with that? me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It it's was the Romeo up. and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide oh, no. that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course, but he just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. No. Nope. I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. <gasps> I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. Oh. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. She was too late, though. But right there in my bedroom, before I even left, knew it was. Damn. 
When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. <gasps> I'm green! Okay, which one is this car? No? <laughs> the music keeps making me think it's like this one that's... It's this one. Stop! Poisonous and in inflammable gas inside. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. There were signs on the car window so strong as I guess. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? He wants to kill well, you. This kind of thing he does is called trolling. <laughs> Tro it's usually a form He's of a extreme troll. bullying and psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say, don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. It, it only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I have Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't leave me at first. But trolls are always hungry, and I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Yeah, what are those there were signs? signs on the car windows? Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design mm. for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. Sounds almost yeah. like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered That's to make weird. an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close. It's like that guy. Can almost smell that fucker. Uh, like saying like, oh yeah, I'm. I help this guy die. Um. What are those two chemical products? Well. I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal hmm. maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Hmm. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Hmm. Whatever it was that made you do it. You proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid wow. ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? How could anyone? 
Um, what if I promise to you that I will never do it? I've learned my lesson. Dying is not for me. Those who want to die will always find a way. Let's just promise. What if I promise to you I will never do it again? Tell me. Okay. Alright. <laughs> but if you don't keep your promise, Miss Ashworth, I'll find you in hell and kick your lying ass for breaking my already broken heart. You okay. can't kick my ass when I'm dead. I'll soon be dead too, Miss Ashworth. So... Yeah, I swear I will do it. I don't think so. <laughs> You'll go to heaven, you muppet. Oh, snap. That scared me. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in a blast. Oh, I have to kill that guy with this. With her recipe. Okay, get comfortable here. Alright, let's do this. Okay. I can't take the gun, I guess. Ooh, this is scary. Stairs. Cat grabber, door. Let's take this. It's what they use for catching cats. I thought these grabbers were banned some time ago. Let's go in this. Strange noise is coming from the other side of the door. Uh oh. I bet the lady's in here. <gasps> oh, that's where this guy is. He's passed out. Bucket? It's an empty bucket. <laughs> Kids, let's get out of here. Alright, so we need two chemicals. Um, I'm assuming they would be in the kitchen. Let's try this way. Radio. They don't make them like this anymore. No, they don't. All I see is the fog. I could never find my way home. Sofa. It's old, like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Oh, it's dark in here. I hear footsteps. <gasps> oh my god! Holy f frigger! What did it say? It needs a new light bulb. Oh my god! How do I get out of here? I can't! Oh my god, that's freaking me out! I guess she's upstairs? Maybe it's just the background noise. Oh, I'm freaking out over nothing. Lamp. Oh, I can take... Um, can I use this? Oh, okay. Guess not. Okay, I can grab these light bulbs. Apparently, so... Keep that in mind. There are only bedrooms up there. I should better stick to the ground floor for now. Okay, so we need... Oh, let's go in the kitchen. Ew. Bottles. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. There's nothing like a bottle of red with your medium rare cat steak. Ew. This is where she cooks. Dirty pans still stink of an old cat stew. Oh, god damn. Poor cats. Um... They're all terribly blunt. Could hardly function as a weapon. Damn. Let's take one anyways. Uh, 
Slimy. I don't think she washes up very often. Oh, gross. Do I even want to look in the fridge? The door is stuck, but maybe that's better. Yeah. Alright. 